Hello, YouTube viewers. I'm Tessia, and welcome to my channel, which I am now calling Tessia Talks. Because I'm Tessia, and I talk about this and that and everything in between. Oh no, it's shaking. Okay. So here I go. Um, first off, today is Father's Day. So for those of you who have a father figure in your life, don't forget to wish them a happy Father's Day. And moving forwards. And my last video, I stated that I was worried I might have appendicitis. I'm here, not in the hospital. Don't have appendicitis, so he's excited, so that's good. Um, went to my friend's graduation. Missed her crossing the stage, took a lot of pictures with her though, and while she was walking around, I followed her around with my kazoo, and did this. succeeded in knowing my other friend who was there and it also this also goes out to all those who have been graduating this week college students high school students class of 2014 congratulations to you all on graduating and after the, later in the day I went to my cousin's wedding of course which was beautiful it was very touching, very cute, and she cried, he cried, made me cry, and I don't think I've ever cried tears of joy before, but it was just really, really nice. And their family I haven't seen in a while, I haven't seen them in years, not since my parents split, so my father's side of the family, so it was really nice to see all the cousins again. And the bride did not walk down to the usual music, so just thought I'd play right now. <laughs> on the kazoo. I would not have kazoos at my wedding. At least not at that part. Um, so yeah, it's beautiful, perfect, except with the exception of the dance floor seeming to be used as a floor for standing. People stood there and took pictures of the bride and groom. And yeah, no dancing. Remained. Other than that, it was perfect. Um, so yeah, went home, turned out I left my cell phone in my boyfriend's car. I went to the wedding with my boyfriend and my brother, and the problem was that I left my phone on airplane mode so I can call my phone, and I haven't memorized his number yet. I really should. I think I have it now. Um, and anywho, that's why I didn't have his number. But luckily for me, this morning, I, I'm not this morning, yesterday, uh, the graduation, the friend I annoyed, I gave her my boy, put my boyfriend's number in there because my phone was dying earlier that in the morning at the graduation. So just in case, he was, I was going to meet up with him after the graduation. And uh, so yeah, that came in. Kind of. I didn't have her cell phone memorized, and I didn't know she had a Facebook app on her phone. So I went and opened up my old laptop, I opened up Notepad in my backed up file of my phone book for just in case. Didn't have his number in it because I didn't know him yet. And yeah, so I used my brother's phone to text her, 
to ask for his number. Point is, eventually we contacted him, but he was going to give it to me today, Sunday. Which, I don't keep his father say it. Should spend his time with his family. And then, but, turned out he, his car was like pretty much empty on gas because as he dropped us off at home, we went on the freeway, noticed it was on E, empty. But he managed to make it all the way home. And yeah, turned out he didn't have enough money for gas, so he arrived at my place with my phone close to midnight. And he's my hero, the sweetest. I really freaked out when I didn't find my phone. I was like, where is it? I never lost my phone or broke my phone before, so kind of, yeah. Speaking of which, at this moment, I seem to have misplaced my phone. I I think it's in my room. And yeah. <laughs> Pattern much. But yeah. So. And to top it off. Yesterday was also our three months together. So happy three months to us. And yeah. I got this from our table at the wedding. And so saw the young people sat, the cousins. We were called pretty much almost last for food, took forever. And, um, yeah. Someday I'll be going to another one of my cousins' wedding in about five years. Because he has a girlfriend he's been with for five years, he plans on marrying. So, yeah. Fun stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed today's segment of Tessia Talks. Please leave some comments below, like, share, subscribe, etc. Let me know what I can improve on. I'm working on getting a better camera and lighting setup, etc, etc. So I hope to make this vlog the best I can. So, bye everyone, have a stellar day. And before I forget, one more thing. I saw the cutest little dog at church today. And yeah, the dog was for free. They were giving the dog away to, because they were moving it. Thought it was a boy dog, because it was wearing, the dog, she was wearing boy clothes. And I was calling her Frodo. I wanted to call her Frodo or Bilbo. Turned out she was a girl named Happy. Her cute name. Bring me happiness. Um, but she went to some other home. So I'm happy that she got a home because otherwise she would have gone to a shelter. And there we know that's not a good thing. Uh, I recorded a clip of her, so enjoy. Bye. Because I'm happy, clap along if you feel like a room without a room. Because I'm happy. Come here. Come here. Who's a precious? Yeah. You're precious. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I want to take you home. I want you to live with me. I would name you. I don't know what I'd name you yet. But I want you. I really want to. I always wanted a corgi, but you're adorable. You're not too hyper. You're just a little puppy. You're just a little puppy.